Hello and welcome to Pokemon X and Y Showdown. My name is Bade and Merry Christmas and or Happy Holidays to everyone. And first off, I would like to thank everyone who liked my Christmas song, The 12 Days of Game Freak Pokemon X and Y Edition. It has been a while since I've seen just so many likes and just positive comments from everyone. And just want to say I really appreciate it and it was really nice to see so many people being in the spirit of the season, so to speak. But today I uh, got some showdown here with the uh, Team Scrappy. Uh, obviously Mega Kong has gone a band, so I just ended up replacing that with a Mega Lucario instead of a uh, Mega Kong has gone. Because uh, I still kind of want to do some regular OU because Pokemon Bank application thingy MacBobber is coming out tomorrow, so this whole tier may just end up getting scrapped, so I thought I would get in some matches while I still ca still can. So, anyways, possible lead is Breloom, or I guess even Machamp could lead, or this Magic Bouncer to set up screens. So, to answer... I think I'll just go with Tremonent, actually. It looks to be a solid guy, except if he wants to lead with Golurk. Well, that's an interesting choice. So far, like, the only thing I know is, like, Shadow Punch. I can take one. Right? Yeah. I can take one. Get off that lead seed. Alright, get a nice amount back. And also get my Citrus Berry back. So, it's not the worst trade. It's not the worst. Um, but I think... I should either go into... Well, if he's gonna... Shadow Punch. I think I'll get... Go into my High Dragon. Yeah, he's gonna Shadow Punch. And I got the Lead Seed going on. I can force him out, fearing the Dark Pulse, which I don't have. But at this point, he doesn't necessarily know that. And... Honestly, High Dragon can kind of do some work on his team. But what is he going to... Okay, he's got No Guard Dynamic Punch. Okay. That's fine, but I can still keep wearing him down. With Lead Seed. So, I'm gonna do that. Until he's like below half, so that's when I'm comfortable in taking him out. Or I could stall out his dynamic punches. That's also an option. But there we go. He actually decides to switch out this turn, so it works out. It works out. Except he's gonna. Okay, this is offensive Espeon. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Dazzling Gleam is actually four times. Super effective against High Dragon because it's Dark and Dragon, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. Um, anyways, I could go into Skarm or I could go into Trevenant again. I think I'll just go into Trevenant. It's specially defensive. And, but the thing is, he could have Shadow Ball, so. Why did I just not go into Tyranitar in the first place? Well, he was firing off those Dazzling Gleams, but, you know, still I should have gone into T-Tar because I could have taken one. But I'll pursue and just trap and kill this thing. Because no matter what, he's going to die. And if he wants to switch out, get a guaranteed kill on that thing. So, after the Espeon is gone, I'm free to set up some entry hazards. But anyways, now he's definitely going to go for the... Dynamic punch, I'm feeling. So let me do some pivot switching. Or he actually just goes for the stab EQ. That still works out. Um, but... I think I'll just still go into... Because he's going to go for the... He's going to go for the shadow punch. So what I'll do is go back into High Dragon. Alright. Yes. I was able to bait in the right move. And now I'm gonna fire off that Dragon Pulse. Should be able to knock him out from this range. He could switch out into like Scissor, but he doesn't, so I get rid of that Golurk, so works out fine. Um I think I can take one bullet punch. So Oh, focus that scissor. Really? Really? Okay. So, that's apparently a thing. Well, anyways... Hmm... 
kind of hoping to, it would be nice to get an opportunity to set up with something, but I really, really don't have any options like that. Um, I guess I'll just go into Lucario, because at least I can get myself, or this Lucario, Mega Evolved right here, so I'll just do that. Go for the Bullet Punch so I can outspeed his Bullet Punch, so he doesn't get any damage on me. So I think that should work out nicely, um, but now in comes Machamp. Now I could fire off a stab close combat, but I think I can save this Lucario for later. Because I think he's still gonna be able to live one. Can I get my Citrus Berry? No. 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 I'll try to get off a lead seed if I can, but he's got the payback. It's gonna take me out from this range. Bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Well, now the thing is... I guess he could stay in. But he could switch out into... Magnezone. Hmm... Kind of a sticky situation. Do I want to pull like a risky switch? Predicting the... Because he could just Dynamic Punch. But it would be... The reason why he has Magnezone is because he wants to trap steals like Skaramori. Well... Whatever, I'll just go for the Brave Bird. Alright, and he does Dynamic Punch, so this is why I didn't want to pull off some crazy stunt double switch shenanigans, but... Yeah, he's he's apparently running some speed EVs too, because so he's able to outspeed Skaramori, so... I don't know if he's now going to feel more comfortable in going into Magnezone, because my... Sturdy is obviously broken, and I just... I'm confused, so... Yeah, that's kind of a thing. Huh, this is really unfortunate, because I wanted some good damage on him, and now I don't have it. I'll go into extra kill like a fool, and now he does still stay in. Well, that's extremely unfortunate. Let's... I don't know if I want to just try that out again. Oh boy. I will try that out again. I will try to get off a Brave Bird this time. Come on. Come on. Yes. And now with this prior damage, I am certainly going to be able to knock this thing out with my Mega Lucario for sure. Which was a problem a moment ago, but no longer is. Wait, yeah, let's just go into Mega Lucario and fire off. Doesn't really matter what I fire off. Just in case he has his own Blood Punch, I'll just go for the Blood Punch. He's probably gonna go into his Breloom, but what I can do is go into uh, Tyranitar and I can break his possible Focus Sash. Well, did he had a Focus Sash Scissor, so nothing really stops him from having another Sash user. Honestly, so I'm just fearing that possibility. Alright. And now that I've got some prior damage. His Breloom is still pretty frail. So I'm hoping Adaptability Bullet Punch will be able to... Uh, or not. And I get... Oh, snap! I guess I was a bit overestimating the power of Bullet Punch. Because it's not Technician or anything. But I still... I'm glad that I kept my Lucario at full health, as I did. And oh no, I'm trapped, but I can just fire off a... <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Sturdy Magnezone. <laughs> wow, good game, good game. Really? Really? Like, wow, this was a weird match, but uh, <laughs> that's what you get. A sturdy Magnezone. I kind of feel like I was playing a bit too safe with that match. And he was running like, I have no idea. If only I had one layer of entry hazards, but I never managed to get them up, so... Sturdy Magnezone. When, when, when in the world does that get screwed you over, huh? The only reason to run Magnezone in the first place is the Magnet Pull. Why is the mobile hiding behind the Dragonites? I will never know. Possible lead, Manwaswine. 
I'll go with Skarmory, in the hopes of getting off some hazards. Does he have a... I guess Gliscor could use Defog, but I believe it has been fixed that uh, Gliscor can no longer have Defog and Poison Heal, because that's apparently not possible to have, because it's Gen 4 move, then Gen 5 Dream World move, ability, the thingy, thingy mech power, so whatever. And hopefully I will not get burned, so... I was able to risk one entry hazard layer here. Um, the thing is, I would so like to go into Trevenant. And... This is the problem with the Scald. It's like, it's always easy mode. You can just spam it without no precautions whatsoever. Like, okay, I'll just go for it. And, you know, if he switches out into something, I'll most likely get the burn. So... Um, I'll go into High Dragon. Although I'm not liking this idea one bit, because I may end up getting burnt. Yay! I'm so happy with you, Skald. I guess I'll just go for the Dragon Pulse. He's probably gonna switch out into, like, Mobile. But, like, I don't really want to sub start sucking down. Well, honestly, it's not really a good idea in the first place, because he could have Ice Beam. But yeah, now he's already going to start protect stalling me. I hate Skull. I really do. Oh boy. Well, I could go into Trevenant again, but like, yeah, I'll just fire up one Dragon Ball, see what he wants to do about it. Okay, he wants to go into Mobile. Okay, well, I will just go for the, uh... Fire Blast on the following turn, hopefully it will no miss. But I've already lost, like, so much health instead of being... I just... Why would you Sucker Punch? I have no idea. But, okay. Well, now I don't need to worry about Mega Mobile. That's fine with me, but... Yeah. Kind of wasted his Mega Pokemon so early. Gotta say, it's gonna be interesting to see now that the uh, Mega Kong has gone... It's gone. It's gonna be nice to see, like, is there any Pokemon that is going to take the place of Mega Kong has gone. To be honest, the Powder Vacuum cannot be filled with any of the current Pokemon, but there are still some good candidates that can come close. First one being uh, Mega Lucario that I'm using. It's a really dangerous Pokemon, really difficult to really uh, just directly to counter, because honestly, like, there aren't any solid options to it, because it can go special, it can go physical, and first off, adaptability is a great ability for it, and it can just dish out so much damage, and I have no idea why is he staying in with Mamoswine, because Mamoswine is another Pokemon that's difficult to counter. Honestly, one of the few counters that it has is Skarmori right here, and Bronzong, so he's up against the one of the few counters, direct counters that Mamos One has, and he's staying in. No idea. And now he goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, he could have done that like several turns ago, and then just switched out. But mm hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna keep on Brave Burning because if I can just, wow, I get flinched. I'll just roost, roost this turn because it kind of looks like he is. He likes to stay in. Not sure why, but he's doing it, so I'm gonna keep on roosting and brave birding and destroying and knocking this thing out, although now I'm kind of low on health, but it's fun as long as I don't get flinched now. That might be unfortunate, but I don't. I think I'll just go for another roost. But now the Mamoswine one is basically in a range where if it switches out, and especially if I get rocks up, that thing is dead, so not worried whatsoever about this Mamoswine, one really. Well, let's see. Let's see what he what is he planning to do. He could just go into like Well, to be honest, his best option is like Vaporeon, because it's bulky, it can wish and do skull shenanigans and stuff like that. I just wanted to get a sub up. Obviously that doesn't work out. And I don't know what's going on right now. Suddenly... He stopped... Making moves. 
So I guess I'll just wait. And then he didn't end up even making a move, and that was that game. My mate just ended up scrapping that whole match because it kind of just sucked. Wasn't really a good match to begin with. But let's go and get another one. Um, okay. Why is everybody running Mamoswine today? Well, it's a good Pokemon. I'm glad that I got the Skarmori here. Uh, possible leads, Frostlass, or this guy, Mamoswine, or Focus Slash Brilliant. Hmm. Him, 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 him. I think I'll go with Tyranitar, because if he leads with these two, I can break their possible Focus Sashes. Alright. And then I can play accordingly from there. So... I... I think I'll just go into Excadrill. Mm -hmm. And he goes for Taunt. So that works out perfectly. Because I can either go for the Rock Slide. I think I'll just go for the Rock Slide. And now I ha now I got his possible Focus Sash broken. So that first turn right, right there could not have gone any better. And now he goes into his Mammoth Swine. I'm gonna EQ him. What? He lives! Barely lives! 1%! What? No! No! Oh, crap baskets. Um... I think I'll go into... Lucario, get it Mega Evolved. Knock this thing out with Bullet Bunch, cause I... Do not want to deal. Okay, he switches out into a... I guess he was expecting, like, close combat. But... Now I got Mammoth's one at one health, so if I get off... Hazards, then again, he does have a uh, tentacle to spin, so that's a thing. I kind of wish I had Ice Punch. I have EQ for the uh, AD Slashes. There's like a bunch of things that I can switch out, switch into Lucario, at least the physical ones. Uh, depending on what it's the what, what the last coverage move it, that uh, it tends to have. But I have EQ because AD Slash, as you know, it's quite a common of a Pokemon. Um, so anyways, I think I could go into... I'll go into T-Tar, and I will hope I can get off some rocks, and he goes for a hidden power, which is not very effective. Um, I think I could actually just opt to go for, like, Crunch. Because I'm kind of fearing he's gonna go back into the Mammoth Swine in before rocks. And he actually just goes for Toxic. Well, that's slightly unfortunate. But I'm gonna set up rocks now. Because I'm kind of expecting him to fear me going for the Stone Edge or the Crunch. Then again, he could just predict me to go for the rocks this turn. But I don't know. And he does. Alright, he does make the correct move. Nice play on his part. So now, unfortunately... He is going to get up his rocks, so that kind of sucks. Why? And I cannot spin because Excadrill, you failed me. One percent, one percent. Why? Well, nothing on my team is that weak to hazards, and it doesn't look like he has more entry hazard setting Pokemon. But he's got Tentacruel here. But luckily for me, I do have a spin blocker since he doesn't have Defog. At least I can block this one. Or he could Toxic me, I guess. Or he could go for knockoff, because that's apparently a thing on everything. Now... Something that I'm not entirely certain is that because I have a Harvest... But because he knocked me off, do I get my Harvest still? Because technically he just knocked it off, I should be able to Harvest my item again. Or because he knocked it off, it just works weird that Harvest doesn't work for it. Even though I... Let's just go for the lead seed. Although, he could have the ability, the thingy mech power. Does he? Yes, he has liquid ooze. Oh. oh. I didn't know about that. Or I didn't know that he would actually have that. Um. Well, that was kind of dumb on my part. Curse me! Ha! Huh. Okay, he tried to spin now. Well, that's interesting. Well, there's... Yeah, there is a way I can still keep my hazards up. So I think I will. 
I was thinking about, like, going into Hydreigon would have been nice, because I could have just, um, set up a sub on him, and there is really nothing he can do, besides, like, trying to knock me off. So, I'll just go for the uh, Earthquake right here, knock him out, and now my hazards are here to stay. Mamoswine is dead, so that's pretty nice. He's probably gonna go either in Charizard or his Zapdos, I'm kind of feeling like. Hmm. I'm kind of ske skeptical, skeptical about... Honestly, I have no reason to really stay in here. He's probably most likely going to just opt to go for the Roost. Hmm. But he, he could also have eaten. Let's just go into Tyler Dragon's heart. He's gonna go for the Roost. And he does. And most likely he's going to sack his Mammoth Swine at this point. So I think what I could actually do is go for the Pursuit as he's going to sack his Mammoth Swine. So on top of dead Mammoth Swine, I actually get some good damage on the Zapdos, so it's like he never roosted. Haha. -ha. Perfecto. But now I'm up against a Breloom, which is definitely a dangerous Pokemon. Hmm. Now I could sack... No, I kinda wanna keep this thing for the Charizard. So should I just sack something? At least sleep water. I think I'll just go into Skarmory. Because yeah, the best thing I can do with Skarm is just use it kind of as a sleep water for the Breloom. Alright, and it turns out he's Life Orb. That's even better, because that will definitely help my uh, Mega Lugar. Basically, once he switches out, that thing is gone. So... I think I'll just go for the Braid Bird if I can. But now he's either going to switch out into Zapdos, or then he's going to keep on going for Mock Punches. Well, I guess it, it's not the worst thing if he does opt to switch out, and he does, because he knows that he can get off the roost here. But I think I'll, I'll still keep Skarmori as a sleep fodder here and honestly I well I could go into Hydreigon as he roosts and then I could get off a sub well, yeah let's actually change the strategy up just a bit because he's gonna expect me to go into Tyranitar anyway so he's not gonna go for the toxic and I can go for the sub and he's actually running speed EVs wow I wasn't expecting that Cause I'm, I think this one, well it might be actually modest, so, that's kind of weird that, hmm, so that kind of ruined my plan, but I, uh, well he still can't do that much, but I do have Toxic cracking up on me. I wasn't expecting him to run, because I saw the roost, I was obviously thinking he's running more defensive ones, so I get, get a facade before he goes for the roost. But obviously at this point he's just, you know, going to be outstalling me, so change of plans, should have gone into T-Tar. But basically nothing on his team is able to really take a stone edge, so I might as well fire one. So far I haven't even used one. Please just land. Alright, there we go, critical hit. I doubt it mattered because he apparently wasn't that defensive as I thought. I guess it was like max speed, max HP. But that's it. Now this Mega Charizard could potentially be a problem. I'll just go for the Crunch. Which Mega is it? I think it's X because X is cool in the singles. Everybody's running that. But at least I have the Rocks up, so that is oh so nice. And it's actually Y. Well. That kind of blues. Huh. It does kind of blow indeed. Because he can go for the air slash. And I'm not really sure if I can knock him out. 
with a close combat from this range. Now I kind of wish that I had the, um... Hmm. Mm. Well, Hydreigon is not going to be able to speed him. And he's going to have Air Slash. So I don't even know why I just did this. I can try to do something, but... Mega Charizard Y is still... Still quite a bit too powerful. So let's see. And he actually opts to go for the roost. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if he's gonna keep on trying to roost all me. Apparently, he does want to do that. And I... <laughs> wow, get another crit. That is crazy. Honestly, roosting is really his best bet. Yeah, that, that, that is true. That is true. But as long as I can keep hitting him down, then I can easily knock him out with my Lucario. So I'm going to keep on doing this. And then I should be able to knock it out with my Mega Lucario. Those crits kind of, well, they definitely suck, but he wasn't really gaining too much HP. But I don't know, I just kind of wanted him down to a range where I can just go for the CC. I'm not really comfortable in Bullet Punch, but I can definitely knock it out with a close combat, because it's, you know, stab and the most powerful move in the universe. Nothing can take it. I think from 25%, if I had him down that low, I think I could have knocked it out anyways. So, Bullet Punch does knock out Breloom from this range, so I don't need to resort in Skarimori. And that will be the game. GG. Alright, so these will be the matches for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe we're in the best matches, and I know I should probably like ladder, but... So far, like, I've been just using a bunch of themes. How many teams do I have here? Way too many, way too many. I've been just experimenting, having fun. And honestly, like, I don't really have any solid competitive teams. So, potentially, if you got some solid teams, you are free to send me them. And I could potentially think about laddering with them. But so far, I've been just using this random crap, having fun. That's why I haven't really done laddering, because I've been just mixing up, using every sort of teams, and just, you know, trying things out. Because that's what the beginning of the meta game is really all about. And now that we're getting all sorts of, sorts of meta game changes, mostly the bands. You know, it's hard to really get um, comfortable with one metagame because it keeps on shifting. So that's why I'm no really no interest in even trying out ladder. Like I, I do basic laddering, so it's not the absolute bottom of the garbage. But you know, I should still like get higher on the ladder because that's where the all the best of the best matches were usually. But you know, it was still a fun session. So hope you guys enjoyed and. Um, Merry Christmas to all who do celebrate it again, and uh, I will check you guys again. Most likely tomorrow I may do a episode of uh, Competitive Crunch, but we'll see. More showdown coming, more fun stuff, for more good stuff, more everything. And uh, yeah, New Year is coming in and stuff like that, so that means I should probably make a New Year's promise not to ramble so much, but we shall see. We shall see. Until next time, this is Spade, signing out. Peace.